I remember when I was a little girl and seeing all the soldiers in their uniforms. It caught my eye, but it kind of like struck a chord, like this is what I want to do. When I came back here, I was so excited about coming home and seeing my kids and my husband. But when I got here, I felt so out of place. I wanted to be Sergeant Crutch on the back of a gun truck. Then there's no place for that here. The invisible wounds, you know, they're serious, but people don't see it that way because they can't see it. They don't see PTSD. They don't see TBI. It bothers me a lot. It bothers me a lot because not only do I have these invisible wounds, but I'm a female and I was on the front line in a war, which that's difficult for people to digest also. Through Wounded Warrior Project, they've given me tools to go from being isolated, not wanting to come outside, to being able to be around other warriors, like-minded people. They've helped me transition from Sergeant Crutch to Lisa, mom, wife, sister. They gave me this extended family who allows me to be me and they make me believe that it's okay to be me.